Friends, good afternoon and welcome to a special briefing from Vladivostok on the day two of Prime Minister's visit. This morning we had three bilateral uh, meetings with uh, the Prime Minister of uh, Malaysia, the last one, and then uh, the Prime Minister of Japan and also the President of Mongolia. I have with me the Foreign Secretary of India who will take us through all the three bilateral meetings and after that we will take one or two questions. Thank you very much. Sir, over to you. Thank you. Thank you, Ravish. Prime Minister had three very good meetings this morning. The first meeting was with Prime Minister Abe of Japan. As you know, uh, besides the very strong relationship that we have with Japan over the years, the two Prime Ministers are also personal friends and have known each other for a long time. So it was a very, very cordial, very warm discussion. Um, a lot of the discussion was on the bilateral relationship with particular emphasis on the forthcoming visit of the Japanese Prime Minister to India for the annual summit. That will take place sometime in the month of December. The dates will be uh, negotiated and announced in due course. Before that, both leaders have agreed that the 2 plus 2, the first 2 plus 2 ministerial meeting, that is the foreign and defense ministers of the two countries, will have a meeting, uh, preferably before this annual summit. And in that context, Prime Minister Abe also mentioned the ongoing visit or the just concluded visit of Raksha Mantri to Japan and he remarked that during the visit of Raksha Mantri to Japan uh, substantial issues have been discussed on taking forward our exchanges and cooperation in the field of defense and he hoped that uh, some of the discussions would lead to outcomes during the annual summit. Uh, inevitably discussion also took place on uh, regional and international affairs. Both leaders gave a very positive assessment of the Japan-America-India trilateral meeting, two of which have been held in the margins of the G20 in Buenos Aires and Osaka. It was a very positive evaluation by both leaders and they felt that this uh, tradition of having a, a summit meeting between the three countries should continue. There was also a discussion on the Indo-Pacific. This is uh, an issue on which India and Japan share similar views. Prime Minister Abe spoke of the free and open Indo-Pacific and of the importance of bilateral cooperation in that regard, uh, both on the economic side and in terms of people-to-people -people relations in order to build an Indo-Pacific region that is uh, both secure and prosperous. Uh, one of the areas that the two leaders touched on was, of course, Africa, because we are beginning to have uh, cooperation trilaterally between India, Japan and African countries. And in this regard, uh, Prime Minister Abe mentioned specifically that during his visit to India, uh, we will have further discussions in this regard. Uh, finally, there was a brief discussion on the uh, RCEP, the Regional Cooperation, uh, Regional um, Economic Cooperation Agreement that is being negotiated by the 16 countries, including the 10 countries of ASEAN. Both sides gave their perspective on the matter. Prime Minister mentioned in particular that uh, we have some uh, issues of interest both in trade in goods and trade in services and that this should be uh, kept in mind when any regional trading arrangement is made uh, so that there is a comfort level on all sides for this agreement. Uh, the, this was followed by a very, very warm meeting with the Prime Minister of Malaysia. As you will recall, our Prime Minister was among the earliest leaders who called on him in Kuala Lumpur soon after his election. Uh, and Prime Minister, uh, in his meeting today with Prime Minister Mahathir, described Prime Minister Mahathir's election as a very historic one uh, and uh, said that India was looking forward to working together with Malaysia. Uh, a lot of the discussion took place on uh, bilateral matters. Uh, Prime Minister Mahathir acknowledged that uh, there was a growing trade between the two countries, but that Malaysia had a surplus in trade and he assured the Prime Minister that while we should continue to grow this trade, Malaysia is looking at ways in which we can balance the trade as well. In that context, he also mentioned that uh, Malaysia would also consider uh, importing more from India so that India's exports to Malaysia grow. Uh, there was uh, some discussion on the uh, uh, recent internal developments in the country and uh, in this regard, Prime Minister explained to the Prime Minister of Malaysia, the rationale behind uh, the reorganization of the state of Jammu and Kashmir uh, in terms of both giving effective governance and in terms of delivering socio-economic justice. 
and uh, in that context uh, the two leaders discussed the focus was on terrorism on efforts by both sides to uh, uh, on how to cope with uh, uh, the growing uh, the growing uh, global uh, terror prime minister of malaysia in fact acknowledged that this is now a global problem and he unequivocally expressed that terrorism uh, is in any form is something that malaysia is against uh, there was also a brief discussion between the two leaders on some of the other international issues uh, but uh, broadly uh, given the paucity of time uh, there could not have been any uh, detailed discussion uh, finally the prime minister called on the mongolian president just a short while ago again uh, a very it was a very very warm conversation uh, the mongolian president is uh, likely is slated to come on a state visit to india um, in fact later this month in that context a number of uh, outcomes were discussed a number of projects on which there is ongoing work particularly the help the assistance we are giving in building a major oil refinery to meet mongolia's energy needs through a line of credit was discussed um, a, a number of people to people uh, uh, issues were discussed including culture uh, the spiritual connection uh, the president of mongolia specifically said he looked forward to his visit to bodh gaya in addition to delhi as well as to bangalore and finally there was some discussion between the two leaders on how to mitigate the impact of uh, smog uh, in ulaanbaatar and in that regard the president of ulaanbaatar spoke of the success that india is having uh, in mitigating uh, the the uh, pollution due to stubble burning of wheat uh in uh, uh, in the winter months so overall i would say that these were three very very productive very good meetings these were uh, 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 in the margins of the main event which is the eastern economic forum which is due to commence shortly and uh, we certainly are are quite pleased with all these three meetings and uh, we leave uh, vladivostok with a sense that in all three cases these are all strategic partners of ours uh, we are in a good place with all of them thank you Thank you, sir. We just have time maybe for one or two questions. Sudhakar. Sir, two small, small questions. One is that first, in Africa, with Japan, how are you talking about the solidarity? And the other is that in Malaysia, we know that we have been trying to get the extradition of Zakir Naik. So, what happened in that case? Thank you. Your question is? Yes, sir. Until Africa is talking about the solidarity, I think that we have been trying to get the extradition of Zakir Naik. So, what happened in that case? Thank you. भागीदारी कर रहे हैं लेकिन प्राइम मिनिस्टर आबे ने ये कहा कि जब वो भारत की यात्रा पे आएंगे तो कुछ और देश हैं अफ्रीका में जहां भारत और जापान इकट्ठा काम कर सकते हैं तो उस मामले में अभी चर्चा जारी है अभी कोई तय कुछ तय नहीं है लेकिन दोनों लीडरों का ये मत है कि हम दोनों साथ साथ अफ्रीका में काम करें जहाँ तक जाकिर नाई की बात है जी हाँ प्रधानमंत्री ने इस बात को उठाई है और हम दोनों पक्ष ने यह तय किया है कि हमारे अधिकारी इस पे संपर्क बनाए रखेंगे और हमारे लिए ये महत्वपूर्ण विषय है थैंक यू वेरी मच वी हैव अनदर एंगेजमेंट थैंक यू ऑल फॉर ज्वाइनिंग थैंक यू